what's up everybody check it out the fire station how fun is that right anyway my name is Russ rwresearch.com is my website and a lot of you are asking me the same question and by the way I appreciate all the emails I've gotten that I haven't been able to respond to and I'll try to get back to those if and when I can um, most of you may or may not know I have five children so when I go home I don't have a ton of time to just respond to emails and at work I'm at work working uh, for the most part that's what my daily duties are so Anyway, I wanted to briefly talk about the question that everyone asks. Hey Russ, when are you going to get back into alternative energy research? And I don't know what's, uh, I mean, I guess it's the lack of, of videos. But what the, what the problem is, is that there isn't a problem. <laughs> I'm, I'm still doing alternative energy research. Um, it's what I do full time, actually. For the most part, I'm doing alternative energy research. Now, a lot of my work's been related on cold fusion. Um, and there just really hasn't been that much stuff to share. And the videos I did make in the past uh, didn't get quite as much attention, which is not a big deal. But I put, like, crap tons of effort into some of those videos. And a few of you really appreciated it. And some of you were like just lost and there's a few of those I have to finish on the calorimeter uh, the DSC I think I filmed some parts of that but again it's an editing problem most of you don't realize how much effort it takes to edit videos together and a lot of these videos were shot a while back and um, and I haven't been able to put them together yet uh, so to answer the question Russ when are you gonna get back into alternative energy research well I've never gotten out of it. Um, and a matter of fact, I have a particular thing I'm working on right now, which I hope really makes people think and understand how to use energy properly. Um, you'll see what I mean eventually in an upcoming video. I'm still working out details for myself. But uh, the point is, is that I'm making the video. I just don't know what will be included in it. And hopefully it will open up some eyes. And make people think. And yeah, I haven't given up on alternative energy. A matter of fact, for those of you who don't pay attention, which apparently a lot of you don't. <laughs> uh, if you watch all my videos, I talk about this stuff all the time. And one of the things I talked about was going to the Alternative Energy Conference up in uh, Idaho near Spokane, Washington so that's Idaho where uh, John Bendini John Bendini's hometown is uh, I can't pronounce Ar Aaron's name right but Aaron Aaron McCarty, I don't know if I pronounced his name right but he kind of took over that conference it was the one that Peter Lindemann and uh Eric Dollard always go to. Unfortunately, Eric got sick and couldn't make it, so. It's a video! Yeah, yeah. It's a video, say hi. Hi, Russ. Hi, Russ. So, so good to see you. So, everybody came from the uh, Science and Energy Conference. I probably got that name wrong. You would know what it's called. Where'd we come from? It's called the 2017. Energy, Science, and Technology. Thank you very much for that. I got it wrong, of course, like I normally do. No smile. No smile. Peter, no smile. Peter Lindemann. And uh, somehow we've ended up making this table that looks like it's going to be growing over to there. So I think all of us ended up here, which is... Uh, and if you believe that, I've got some property in my table. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We all ended up in the same spot from the conference. <laughs> and energy too. 
But anyway, so yes, I'm still very involved in alternative energy and very interested in alternative energy. I post all my work um, most of the time over at open-source-energy.org, which is my forums. And I'm over there off and on. I don't get as much time there as I'd like. Appreciate the boys who have been taking care of that uh, that uh, forum for pretty well most of what I haven't been able to be around for. But anyway, yes, it's still a passion and I'm still working on it. I did not give up. I can only do so much, man. I'm only one person. My favorite corner is coming up. A little ramp, double ramp right there. Tree bumps. This is my favorite corner because it's like really sharp and it kind of dips in. Anyway, I'm going this way because there's construction on the main road. I don't prefer this way, but I drove this way every day for a year and a half on the moped on the Honda Hobbit Hot Rod which I still would like to fix I want to cast a, a head for it and machine it I think it would be fun anyway I'm gonna keep talking to you until I get you up to this uh, this next little viewpoint because it's a really nice view oh bump <laughs> oh, I'm in neutral Ah, missed the gear again. I'm not used to having it in first gear, but going up that hill right there, you have to have it in first gear. It doesn't really do the best in second. It does, but not very well. So anyway, whee on these roads. Jet liner up there. This thing, I'm telling you, this thing's got some serious horsepower. Whew, that was an adrenaline rush right there. I don't like making my tires go bald though. But it really, uh, it really does have some power. Okay, so anyway, yes, alternative energy research is still on my mind all the time, 24-7. I just really enjoy my, uh, my completed projects as well. 3D printing is a is a big interest for people. And so I continue working on that because it's a lot of fun to see a project come together. And I use it for these other project projects, but I'm an electromechanical guy, right? That's what I do. Anyway, up oh, you can't see much. Anyway, the ocean is way over there and then and then the city. But yeah, one deer ran up across this road right here one day. It's intense. Peace, man! Whee! Alright, I better be safe. Peace and love. God bless you guys. I'll talk to you later. Alternative energy research all the way, my friends. I just don't have the kind of time that I used to have. Because I used to not sleep. And actually, I've been staying up a lot later lately, which has uh, been tired. Tired some. Tiresome? Yes, it's been tiresome. But I think it's worth it because I still have hope and I still believe and I'm working my uh, my best and doing what I can when I can. And I hope you guys continue to follow the work. Oh, 
and a minor announcement like I said in this video I hope I can deliver a very interesting concept to you to make you guys really think and if I can do that then uh, I think it will really open up your eyes to understanding a few things all right God bless last time <laughs> peace out bye bye